Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And as you can see, I actually picked up some Hot Wheels cars. Normally I wouldn't. Um, and if you've ever been to Walmart or Atari, you know just how overstocked Hot Wheels always are. The reason why I and many car or die cast collectors um, don't really pick them up is because a lot of them are like generic. Um, and, you know, that's fine if you're into just cars in general, but stuff that I'm looking for are race cars and luckily they do have a couple waves like that now like I said I, I don't know as much about Hot Wheels as I do about the NASCAR line so don't take anything I say in this video for a fact because I'm not 100% sure but it seems like to me from what I've seen online what I've seen in stores anything that has the car culture logo in the corner is probably a race car like I said I don't know 100% with that um but that's what i'm thinking so anyway the two cars that we have here are from the euro speed wave which has five um and honestly i don't plan or i shouldn't say i don't plan i don't expect to find the other ones because as you can see this is 2017 um so this wave is obviously from last year these are probably the last ones just going out because i found them in target which target is pretty much known for just being way behind uh walmart with hot, both hot wheels and nascar authentics so um so yeah well i these might possibly be the only two that i get from euro speed or that i find in stores anyway um just because i saw the way was from last year and you know, most likely it's uh, it's on its way out. But who knows? Maybe I'm completely wrong and uh, there'll be some more. Because there were only three of them on the shelf. Two of these and one of these right in the middle. Uh, but anyway, let's get these open. This first one, you can't, well, you can't see them because the shadow is a Porsche 993 GT2. Which ran in what is now the WeatherTech series. Um... Pretty much from 95 till 97, I believe. Uh, like I said, don't take anything I say for fact. I'm just going off the top of my head here. Um, it ran in all the weather tech races, such as uh, Road America, Daytona, a couple Daytonas, um, Phoenix even. There was even a one-hour of Phoenix race back in the day. Uh, Sebring, Laguna Seca, I think. And a lot more that I'm missing, but pretty much anything that's on WeatherTech schedule. Then we have something from the 60s, made from 65 until 71, I believe. The Alfa Romeo uh, <laughs> Gilea Sprint GTA. Uh, and I apologize if I messed that up. Uh, basically, this was not in any American series. This was just run European, uh, which makes sense. But this car never really made it out of Europe. Um, at least famously, anyway. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it ran at places like the Autodrome, which, if you don't know, is basically uh, a huge oval, like an actual circle that F1 even used to race at. And it had high banking, and they would make right hands on it, I think. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. Um, that's the only real information I could find online um, about terms of what kind of races it's ran but anyway um as you can see this is number four the porsche is number four and the alfa romeo is number one in the series like i said hopefully i find the other ones but i don't plan on to don't expect to uh but anyway let's get these open okay so here they are um they seem like they're made out of metal versus plastic which all of the nascar authentics are this one is really shiny has that chrome look, which is really nice. That nice silver, 993 on the side. You see kind of like a British flag on uh, that side of the car, which I can't really focus on. Uh, the roof, has, what is that? I can't actually, I don't even know what that is. Um, then it says Outlaw on the rear wing. And Porsche down here back of it and the bottom is pretty plain made in thailand uh the base is from 2012 
Nice. Um, so yeah, that's that. I move on to this one. And uh, this is number 96. Like I said, this was used in mainly the 60s. That is a really nice looking front of the car. You see an old Goodyear logo right there on the top. Um, Champion is the one on the bottom. I can't really tell what the middle one is. And then you see the Alfa Romeo logo right there above the rear tire. And on the back here as well. And this side is the same. The wheels actually have a nice texture to them, which is interesting. Then the top, just stripe. Then on the bottom, what is this base from? Uh, this base is from 2016, and it does specifically say Alfa Romeo Giulia on its Sprint GTA. So that this base was specifically made for this car. Cool. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I don't normally collect... Hot Wheels because most of them are generic but if there's a wave out there that I happen to see in stores that is race related and of a series that I'm familiar with then I'll get it uh, right now I think the only real licenses they have is to make stuff like this uh, like classic weather tech sports cars uh, and other sports cars I guess too um, but yeah I guess that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys and I will see you all later